there. I'm Tyler Lunsford, and you're watching a review of Victory Juan's Indivisible Deck. What is up, you beautiful people? My name is Tara Lunsford, and welcome back to another Magic Trick Review here on the channel. Now, if you're new here, then definitely please consider subscribing and take a look at the channel my past reviews. I'm glad you're here, I hope you are, and without any more waiting, let's go ahead and get right into this video right now. First off, you need to know what actually is in the Visible deck. Well, the audience is going to name any card, and without any forces, no magician's choice, the card is selected with complete freedom. There is a deck that has never been touched that's been on the table the entire time. This deck was seen by the audience from the beginning, and they even could have been holding it if they would have liked to. When you open the card box and spread it, there is only one card face down in the deck. The card is the very card that the audience named. What's more surprising is that you can then turn over the rest of the cards and show them all on the backside to show that that really was the only card like that in the deck. In the Visible deck is a personal deck that Victory has been using for years. Supernatural handling is now possible with the Invisible deck. All the decks are provided after Victory has quality tested them himself. While you'll be receiving, if you decide to purchase this, you'll be receiving an In the Visible deck itself. You'll also be receiving an 11 minute tutorial video with English subtitles. Now that you know what it is, and you know what you'll be receiving, let's talk about some more questions you may have about In the Visible deck. Well, let's start off with how difficult is it to perform? It has the same difficulty pretty much as the regular Invisible deck, if not easier because there's no math in the way that this comes. I actually switched my deck around to basically mimic the Invisible deck's magic or math principle for the Invisible deck. So I recommend doing that because it just makes it easier for me. I mean, the Invisible deck's not hard math. If you have one, you know that. I like it better. It's easier to find the card for me, so I recommend that. Don't have to do it. Just thought I'd throw that suggestion out there. Let's talk about the angles. When you perform this, what are the angles going to be like? I mean, the angles for in the visible deck are, are great. You can perform this surrounded. I mean, especially because you now can, you know, do the thing where you show the back sides of the cards if you'd like to. Is in the visible deck examinable? No, and no, it's not. Not at all. I mean, it's actually more gimmicked than the original invisible deck, so it's absolutely not examinable. Is there any DIY involved or anything you have to buy or supply? Nope, everything you need to perform is supplied in this deck. This is the In the Visible deck and you don't need to do anything to it. Are there any negatives about In the Visible deck? One negative I will point out is that there may be an easier way to find the card in the deck than you know the math with the original Visible deck, like the way it comes. But I just think it's easier to figure out the, the math part and then find the card from there. It's just easier for me. So I suggest switching that around like I mentioned earlier. Another thing that I will mention is I don't think this is a bad product. I think it's well made. I mean, it, it's there. It's, it's a deck that works completely fine for what it's intended to do. What I will say about it is that I think it kind of solves a problem that doesn't necessarily exist. Now, for some people, it may exist. Maybe you're tired of people saying, hey, can I hold that deck? And, and that it doesn't solve that problem, but there, you can be like, no, but I, I can show you the backside of the deck, which you couldn't do with the original Invisible deck. So to that point, it's like, is there really an issue with showing the backside of the cards or do you just need to put the deck up and do a deck switch and then you're, the, the problem solved? So if you feel like an issue for you is that you wanna show the backside of the cards, then yeah, this deck is for you because you can do that with this version of the invisible deck. So just be aware of that. It, it does, it does the problem even exist for you? And if it does, then I suggest that you consider this, but if it doesn't, then is this really a product that you need? What are the positives about the In the Visible deck? I, I love this update of the original Invisible deck. I mean, even though the, the problem doesn't really exist, it's kind of like one step further, like one step further that you can do. So you can show like, hey, maybe even a little bit more of a convincer. Some people might think that's overkill. Personally, it's it's one of those things where if I had this on me, I would perform it. If I had the invisible deck on me, I would perform that. It's not that this is, like I said, it's not a bad product. It's just one of those things where it's like, does it really need to even be a thing? What's this retail as? Well, currently in the visible deck will set you back about $30 and is that a fair price? I mean, it's a handmade gimmick deck. You can get an, an invisible deck for like five or six bucks, but when we're talking about something that's been handmade and it's even more gimmick, so it took more time than a regular, invisible deck yeah i think the 30 dollars price point is justified for a gimmick deck i don't think it's a bad price for what it is thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video i really do appreciate it and if you feel that in the visible deck is for you then a link to purchase it is in the description down below remember i'm here to bring you unbiased reviews to help you make more informed better decisions on the magic you buy and i hope that you found this video helpful for that decision i'd like to thank abstract effects for allowing me to have this product so that way i can do this for you a few beautiful people out there you can support their you support them by visiting their website or their instagram all those links are in the description down below as well 
Remember, you can head on over to my Instagram if you would like to. I, I don't mind it if you do that. Feel free to. At Tyler Once or Magic. I post on my stories more than I post on my main there. So check that out if you feel like it. I post some polls or some behind the scenes, all that good stuff. But thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate you watching to the end. So thanks so much. And hopefully I'll see you in another video that I post on the channel sometime soon. And remember, be kind to people. See ya.